Hey guys, we have some exciting news. Like a lot of you, we've had a lot of time on our hands during quarantine. And we've decided to add a couple new members of the family. We have upgraded to a toy hauler travel trailer, guys, because being in and out of hunting camp, you know that you need that extra room for your ATV and for our kayaks. You guys have to check this out. There is a full-size queen bed in there as well. And me, I'm kind of pedantic. I don't really want our muddy boots going in and out of the house. So now we have this whole extra space that we can go into, strip off all our messy gear, and then be cozy in our home. You guys are going to have a great time. Congratulations. Thank we you, appreciate Randall. Your purchase from camping world. We love camping you can world. Have many great camping yeah. memories. Fantastic. We're really excited for you guys. Thank you so much, You're Randall. Welcome. If you guys are ever around Nashville, come see our friend Randall. We'll hook you up. Next stop, Kansas. It's our first morning in Kansas. We're pumped up. Well, are we really? half of us are pumped up. I'm not that. There's definitely like a weak member in the group. <coughs> Jordan. We brought Nashville with us to Kansas. People gotta work their deer tags off somehow. So, five in the morning, working cattle. I don't know how much help they're gonna be, or how much help I'll be, but we'll be there. We'll get yelled at a lot. Patty, meet Outdoor Channel. She is so sweet, look at her. That didn't blow. <laughs> oh, boy. There she went. And this, my friends, is where women live longer than men. Hi, man. Morning, how you doing? We're some cows over here now. We're going over to check this there big, big, big buck walking over here on the south end. And we're going to get him. Fun fact Jordan has a tag hunting here this can in Kansas this season. Oi, Caleb. And Chad has a winter job. Oh, yeah. And Chad's going to be guiding here this, this uh, fall, so there you Chad's, go. Yeah, hey, Chad's Caleb. What happens to people that have tags that don't wake up and help? Management duty, car hole, whatever you prefer to do to him. I'm from Florida, I'll shoot a cold buck. I mean, yeah, I will too, but I'm not gonna shoot a cold buck in Kansas. <laughs> I'll shoot one in Florida. Well, why do you shoot last <laughs> year? don't have coals in Florida, they're all trophies. Mary and Kim haven't been exactly helpful today, but uh, they are here, so more than Jordan can say this morning, right? They said they were getting up at 4.30, and I had a long week and a long weekend last weekend, so I had to catch up on some sleep. I just come from Georgia, where we don't know how to ride horses, to be honest with you, and uh, I love trying new courses, so I had to get a, a round in right quick while they were at work, you know? You never know what you're going to find in the back of a farmer's ranger. For example, batteries, plank of wood, baby doll, Sally. We're going to call her Sassy Sally. Good old knife. That's not an eye. This is an eye. Reminds me of home. I like it. This is why I like K&S Outfitters so much. This spot last year, this used to be just tall, grown up, nothing. And now, like, build it and they will come. Big old cornfield, got timber draw, beans over there. He just pulled the card and there was like 8,000 pictures on it. So I'm hoping he got a couple shooters in here and he lets me sit in here about November, but we'll see. Last year I sat in here and saw like a probably 160 inch three year old had split brows, big awesome deer. I didn't shoot him, you're welcome. I'm hoping he pops up, stay away. You shot a Boona last year. I'm gonna shoot another one. Might shoot two, we'll see. Boy, what do you guys think this deer scores? We got a guess? Yeah. All right. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta look at it from a little bit farther back. Hold on. I'm going with 206 and 5.8. 206 and 5.8, that's pretty uh, exact. I'm oh, going, nice story, but... 
I'm going 202 and a quarter. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be Jordan. 202 exactly. Oh! <laughs> oh, maybe somebody already told Jordan no, that. No, I don't know. Yeah, you probably found out somehow. No, Jordan no. Like, What's the story again behind the deer? What's the deer I killed a couple years ago, November 1st. Um, I had no idea the deer was around on the river bottom and he come through strolling all by himself. I absolutely love coming out to Kansas every year. My mate's place here at Kane is outfitted. We've been checking the cameras, getting everything ready for deer season, and we're ending our time here with a good old pig roast. Oh my goodness. KS put on a good feed. Damn all this asphalt, damn this traffic jam Damn this fast living, damn the upper hand Seems so unattainable and seems so out of reach Wouldn't it be nice if people practice what they preach? Well I need to go somewhere I can see Stops. Cause oh my soul needs to soak up something closer to my heart A so-called different kind of spark Take me out of honky-tonks and take me out of box Take me somewhere I can see the stars Take me somewhere I can see the stars. All right, guys, it is the day, the day we've been waiting for. It's the opening night of the Country Outdoors Riders Round, the first one. I've been wanting to do a show like this since I moved to Nashville five years ago, so this is just a dream come true. And to be doing it with my mates at Wilson's Taxi Derming is insane. This is Levi, and they've just set the stage up perfectly. We've got a cool bonfire going on back here, and it's a sold out show, so super pumped. We've got Drake White, Megan Patrick, Dylan Carmichael, and Farron Rachels, and I think it's gonna be a blast. Excited. Are you ready? I'm excited, very excited. All right, guys, so this is a little sneak peek into what it looks like being in front of the scenes and then behind the scenes. Everyone's arrived now. The venue's starting to slowly fill up, and I'm just really excited. This is a dream come true. And here's your host for all things country outdoors, Mary O'Neill Phillips. G'day, g'day everybody. Welcome to the very first opening night of Country Outdoors Riders Round. This is a show that celebrates everything country music and the outdoors. But my favorite hunting is fishing. My favorite animal, largemouth bass. Mm. I just love it. I've been hunting one time. It was with a uh, with a boyfriend in high school, and I shot at the same deer three times. And he, I'm not. This is not a joke. And he literally like looked this way. I shot again. He looked this way. I shot the third time, and he was gone. Basically. You just needed a better boyfriend or a better gun, obviously. I mean, well, story of my life. I knew where these deer eat and slept and what they did and um, when he finally came out and I was able to make that shot and I did drag him out by myself because I had so much adrenaline I think I could have lifted a Chevy at that point. I grew up in northeast Alabama where the Appalachian Mountains fall down in the top half of the state and grew up chasing ducks and, and whitetail in multiple different ways and um, and some of y'all got that so he got it that's good. Um, fish and, and stuff like it was just something that was in me and um, my grandfather the men in my life like like pushed that and, and the women they they you know it was it was unreal to be now looking back on it uh, trained and taught how to appreciate the sunset how to how to you know run a trot line and all the stuff that Hank Jr. talks about you know and, and know what it means to, to watch seeds grow and uh, watch young people in the outdoors. And that's why I'm setting up here um, amongst all these 
um, great people and these these animals. It's just part of me. You know, the outdoors is part of me, and mm -hmm. it's um, I can I feel God in it. I feel spiritual inside of it when I'm chasing elk or, or white tails, and and I love it. And it's just and I just thank y'all. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Amen. Mitch, for for inviting us. And this is a great thing. Thank you. This has been one of my favorite nights in a long time. I have been just sitting up here and thanking God for this beautiful night. These amazing people up here on this stage that I, I love and respect so much. I miss live music more than anything in the world. It's like breathing to me, and I think everybody up here can agree. So thank you so much for being thank here tonight. Thank you all for listening to Thank us. you, Mary and Mitch. Thank you, listening room. Thank you for making my heart beat again tonight. This was awesome. Thank you. Retweet. Thank you all. Thank you. That was bloody insane. What an awesome experience, guys. Could not have asked for it to go any better. I loved every single minute of that show, and I just wish it wouldn't end, but I guess we're going to have to go and have a little after party now. Until next time.